When you think of farming, what comes to mind? Maybe a farmer planting crops in acres of open fields, using the sun's power, rain, and a vast irrigation system to grow food? While this type of farming is rooted in tradition, it's a challenge for cities lacking land. Another form of agriculture known as vertical farming may provide a solution for urban areas where traditional farming is not ideal. Vertical farming takes place inside and involves greens grown in special trays stacked from the floor to the ceiling. LED lights replace the sun. The process often uses no soil and less water than traditional farming. Plus, these farmers don't have to worry about bugs hurting the crops. Reporter Steven Sarabia shows us how a company in Phoenix sows the seeds for smarter farming. Robots are planting the way for the future of farming, and it's all being done inside a Phoenix warehouse. The big problem that we are solving really is the locality of produce. So right now produce is typically shipped across country. Here we can have production right next to distribution. Sam Bertram with 1.1 showed us around the robot operated farm. It's all done inside in this giant cube instead of being outside in the dirt. We have arugula microgreens, we have a baby mizuna, which is an Asian green, super nutritious stuff. We've got a baby kale next door. This is a beet green. This setup, they are able to replicate the ideal growing environment for each plant, away from the harsh elements outside. No sun, no problem here. The red LED light is a very specific wavelength at high efficiency to activate a, a photosynthetic pathway inside of the plants. Robots monitor the plant's growth, giving them what they need when they need it, even harvesting them once they're ready. Right now, this farm sends its harvest to Whole Foods grocery stores across Phoenix. This setup was built in partnership with the robotics company AutoStore, which to put it simply, repurposed warehouse robots that monitor projects and storage to be farmers. We've always seen how our system could be used to solve many different problems. It's very versatile in that sense. And so we're, we're excited to see how it could work in agriculture. Bertram says the goal is to have farms like this set up close to grocery stores as a way to get veggies to people faster than it takes to ship them across the country from traditional farms. Getting a vertical farm up and running can be expensive. It requires specialized equipment, including hydroponic systems and grow lights. And because of the grow lights, it can be an energy intensive process. Also, vertical farmers typically can only grow a limited number of crops like leafy greens, herbs, and fruiting vegetables like tomatoes.